What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I am doing some yard sales today looking for that treasure. And this yard sale, I've already got a Magnavox combo unit in my hand. You see it hovering up there. But there is a small community sale going on and I'm out there driving around seeing what I can find. And this sale was pretty good. Lots of interesting items which I like to see. There are some watches I end up picking up in a bag. I think it was only like a dollar or two for the bag of watches, so I grabbed those. And yeah, I think I'll make some profit on them. Over here, I've already been through this stuff before I turned on the camera. I haven't checked the clothing though. Looks like some interesting items. Of course, I'd like to see some of the vintage stuff. Uh, there's some okay shirts here. You know, here's a racing shirt. I think it's more like a local type racing shirt, not NASCAR or anything. Picked up a really nice NASCAR shirt the other day. It's worth almost $150. Some of those designs are very sought after. But yeah, some Under Armour stuff, some decent clothing if I wanted it here, uh, but nothing I want to buy to resell. At this sale, I'm checking the boxes. Always look under the tables. Uh, recently, I was at a sale. I asked for video games, and the woman told me, yeah, they're right there under the table. I turned around. There's already a guy digging in them. Luckily, it was just like a broken Xbox and some stuff I wasn't interested in. Uh, but yeah, it's easy just to walk past stuff at garage sales. A lot of things I ask about because I might not see them. Here's a Polaroid camera. It was priced a little high. You know, I've got probably a dozen of those I need to sell. I think I'm just going to lot them all together. I have a couple camera totes I've just been adding to over the years. Here is a sale. Got a, looks like a mosquito a fogger or something there. Over here I see some hats, and I love to see hats. But unfortunately, these are just like local hats. And uh, just an Ohio State basic hat. Got some shoes, some ties. And I probably should have went through those ties a bit more. I haven't found a good tie in a long time because I just hate looking through ties. Something just clicked in my brain. I was doing it so often and I wasn't really finding that many good ties. So, uh, yeah, I think the best tie I've ever found was worth about $50. I forget the brand, but I know I'm definitely missing some good ties out there. Got a stack of media. i just flip it over, check it real quick, make sure there's not anything great. Right here, I see a Fisher-Price record player, and it's very clean. Uh, the lady told me that it was working, and she didn't think it was ever used, so I went ahead and grabbed that for three bucks. Get into this sale, I see some toys and some other items here that look kind of interesting. Nothing great, though, unfortunately, that I noticed. As always, let me know in the comments if you see something that was valuable that I walked past. I still do it from time to time. Miss things, but for the most part, I think I pick the things, at least the things I want. Uh, there's always things you can make money on uh, that, you know, some things I just don't want to mess with. Here at this sale, I got a box of free stuff. There's some Pokemon cards, some dolls. And, uh, yeah, I should have grabbed the Pokemon cards, but the dolls got me excited because of the Bratz and Monster High stuff. But no Bratz or Monster High in there, unfortunately. But I look over here, and I'm like, oh, here's a ton of Bratz. And I just scoop them up, and I tell the lady, I want all your Bratz stuff. The Barbie stuff, it was priced a bit too high for my comfort in buying. Uh, the Bratz, though, were a great deal. Here's one of those Spongebob uh, plug and plays. I think those are pretty valuable, not like super valuable. But yeah, I got all those brats. I did pick up some Barbie dolls at another sale, though, a big tote of them, uh, ironically. But yeah, I'm just looking around at this sale to see if there's anything else. See some Furbies, and these are pretty good Furbies. One of them's one of the original ones. So yeah, for that price, I grabbed those. 
And I also picked up a really nice pair of Nike shoes, which I think I already flipped for like 50 bucks. And uh, I got some plush here. I'm just kind of checking these dolls to see if they're anything I recognize, like American Girl. Uh, some of the vintage stuff. And that one right next to that doll kind of looks like maybe it's worth something. Got some tube TVs down there I just didn't feel like messing with. Some Halloween stuff, which I did pick up some. Halloween Village City stuff there, which was basic. It, the, the ones at the high end stuff. Some of those Halloween cities go for thousands of dollars. It's crazy. It just depends on the brand and if they're rare. Here's the sale. I ended up driving past and I'm just checking it out and there's some sealed doorknobs and stuff but the prices at this sale were just too high for me. Shoes were a bit too worn. Hats a bit too basic. <laughs> so it's just one of those sales. Just a kind of a blah sale. Doesn't really have anything going on for it. We get those from time to time. I see some interesting baseball bats but these were expensive too. I feel like they were like maybe $45 which some bats, you know, can be worth that much, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. And you know, I went to a decent amount of sales and I don't have footage for all of them, but I found some absolutely amazing things. There was even a sale I just stopped at uh, outside of the community sale on the way home. I just drove by and I'm like, hey, a sale, I might as well stop. I'm really glad I did. I got some very valuable hats, and uh, this sale, I see a sealed Barbie doll, and it's not very expensive, and of course, I'm like, eh, I know these things usually aren't worth much, but that one was worth a decent amount. I sold that for like 20 or 30 bucks, I think. Here is an American Flyer Horse, another sale I just randomly found. I had to buy it. It was only $10. This is actually in my storage, so I'm just dropping it off here and showing you. And these things are worth like $200. The springs can sell for $40. Uh, just some of the pieces can make me a ton of money. I don't know. I'm probably going to try to sell it locally for like 100 bucks. So I'll make some money on that for sure. But let me show you what else I bought today. Look at this haul. It is amazing. I got some great stuff to show you today. Stuff in the floor, stuff on the table, stuff on the little bar back there. But let's jump into it. Let's start with the Bratz dolls. Very cool to come across these. I ended up paying $29 at this sale for all the Bratz stuff. You can see they got the clothes, the shoes. They're in great condition. For paying as little as I did, there's going to be at least $150 profit. I don't know what Bratz dolls could be rare. Uh, like this pink haired one. I couldn't even find comps on it. Google lens. Searched and searched. Did not see any. I hate looking these things up. I'll probably just lot them into like dolls of five or whatever and just do an auction. Any experts and brats watching the video, you can let me know if you see anything that's maybe worth 40 or $50 by itself. There's definitely some out there. I can also tell you the car back here. I saw a comp sell for this one for 70 bucks. So that's pretty good. I don't think mine will sell for that much. Is a little bit of wear on the stickers and stuff. Some black marks that'll come off, but Really is not bad condition. I should still be able to sell that for 40 bucks, I would imagine. This doll here is like 50 bucks. The carrying case back there is selling for like 25. It's complete in amazing condition for $29. Good profit. Also at that sale, I picked up these two Furbies. This one's a bit newer from 2012. Still, it's about a $30, $35 Furby if working. This one's one of the originals, I believe, from 98. Still got the tag on it if this one works. Uh, definitely $50 plus shipping on that. They were well taken care of. I expect them to work. Looking back here, I have this Star Wars Lego set. It has been opened. The lady told me that it was probably complete. Something you hear a lot. This is selling pre-owned completes. About $40, $50. I only paid $3 for it. So hopefully it's all there. See, for $2, I picked up a complete Woody in great condition, working. Thinkway Toys, you can always look up the expression. The, the Look at the tag, compare on eBay to see which one you have. Uh, this one should sell for about 30, 40 bucks. 
paying two dollars for it i'll take it right next to it i got this barbie doll for two dollars it's brand new sealed it was halloween you know a lot of these barbies even new still don't even sell for over ten dollars this one looks to be pretty good i think it will sell for about 30 or 40 dollars there's some listed for like 40 50 i think there's only one comp where one sold for around 30 but for two dollars it being new there's money there i grabbed this mcgregor glove mcgregor not the best brand to buy vintage baseball gloves for but some of them do sell well couldn't find any comps on this one on ebay or terror peak i eventually found where they were being sold on play it back sports or is it just playback sports or is it even playback sports i don't know the used sports store online they were selling it for 30 dollars at one point but they were out of stock so i'll probably price it 30 dollars plus shipping see if i can get a sale i paid five bucks for it you see all these little people here I was at a sale and I asked, how much are the little people? And the, the guy went to ask his wife, came back and said a dollar. I'm like, oh, a dollar a piece? He said, no, a dollar for all of them. And I'm like, oh, a dollar for all of them? I'll take them. Some decent stuff there. Um, they're not big money, but when you're getting them that cheap, you can just lot them all together. Sell them for $15, $20. People buy them. Grab this at a sale for $0.50. Cents. My first Transformer by PlaySchool. Kind of cool. Uh, this one, not worth a whole lot. Still probably $15, $20. Bucks, so paying $0.50 cents is worth selling. I also picked up this 18 game. I'm not sure why. I thought it was cool. It's vintage. It's in pretty good condition. It looks like it's complete. The pieces are great. I knew buying it. I bought it blind. I knew it wasn't going to be worth a whole lot of money. You know, I, I could probably make $10 on it. It's probably going to sit for a while though got a couple of these star wars books uh, at a sale i just stopped at i did not know it was going on just driving by somewhere had some stuff out in their yard i love sales like that digging through a box i found them uh, i believe i've sold this one or i've sold some i actually still might have book three then i could lot all three of these together that would be great but the first edition original ones of these i think i sold for 25 dollars this one it seems like um, this one's probably about $20, $25. That has a little bit more wear. Uh, but you know, between these two books, I'm going to make $20, no problem. That's a sale where I got the Bratz dolls. I also got these Nike Air shoes. Girls, or I should say women's, they're still women's size. But they are very clean. Um, I think I've only paid $2 for those. I asked how much, and she said she was $2. I said, I'll take these. There's honestly not a lot being sold on eBay. I think there's two or three currently listed uh, at about $50, and there's one comp at $50. Hopefully, I have a size that's not listed on there. It'll give me a better chance of selling them. But they'll definitely eventually sell for like 40 50 bucks. Let's move into the floor and look at some stuff. I paid $10 for all these Barbie dolls. And where the brats were, you probably saw in the video already, there was a ton of Barbie dolls. They wanted a bit too much money for all of them. And me not knowing enough about Barbie, I know more about brats, and I know that brats hold better value. So uh, at that price, I wasn't gonna buy them. I just sold like 60 Barbie dolls. I did an auction on, and I think I got like 120 bucks. So this one, it's a, a decent amount of dolls, a big bag of the clothing. Barbie's singing to me. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, not bad. I'm just going to do an auction on these. Uh, this tote alone is worth $5, and I need one of these plastic clear totes where I store my eBay inventory. So, you can't go wrong with a buy like that. I'll, I'll probably make $40, honestly, doing an auction. So, here is a Dell box, but there's no computer stuff in here. I opened it up and I saw, it's like a, a die punch for something. I don't even know what it is exactly. Below it, it's got all the rest of the letters. I looked it up. I think it was Pebble Creek or something like that. But it was only $3. Actually, I didn't look it up before I bought it. It was just $3. I'm like, that's got to be worth at least three. Worst case scenario, I just donate that somewhere. Doesn't look like they're selling amazing, but on Terra Peak, I saw where... A set like this sold for 50 and uh, I think 70 or 80 bucks. So we're going to come in about $40 plus shipping, maybe even $30 plus shipping. I only paid $3 for it, so there's going to be money to be made. It's already in a nice box for me to ship out. And then over here, real quick, for $5, I picked up this Panasonic uh, TV VCR combo. Of course, I've been mentioning these. Uh, some of them are great money. I think this one was selling for about $120, $140 on eBay, a couple comps for. The lady told me it worked. TV and the v VHS player, so we'll see. Of course, I sold one like this recently at, what was it, RCA or something, 
and I got $350 for it. It was a new open box, only paid a dollar for it. If you're gonna sell these though, you really gotta pack them well. Burning right along through this stuff, I got this Accurite Emergency Weather Radio. It was $3, just grabbed it blind, figured it was worth that. It's new, couldn't find any exact ones, but there's some similar ones, like a, just an all black one that was selling for, I think it was about $40, $45 on eBay. I, actually, I did see one of these pre-owned, uh, this color for $30. So, you know, I'm not going to go wrong at all uh, selling this for about 40 bucks plus shipping. Got some media here. I picked up this Ren and Stimpy Christmas cassette for a dollar. Not worth a whole lot. I think it was like 12 bucks. And we got some CDs. We got Snoop Dogg here, uh, Tupac. Uh, all these were a dollar. And then we got... Well, let me talk about this first. I think this one was selling for about 20 by itself. I don't even remember Tupac right now. But I got all these um, Metallica, Injustice for All, Reload, Master of Puppets, all of the classics, Ride the Lightning, Kill 'em All, not really a classic here, Death Magnetic, and then uh, their newest one, right? Which is brand new sealed. So all these were a dollar a piece. And I'm going to lot all the Metallica together. I should be able to sell that lot for $50 just for the Metallica stuff. It sells great. Uh, if I had more like rap CDs in this, I probably would have done a lot with those. But good profit in that stack of CDs. And of course, I find video games at a sale, but you know what? They're all the Guitar Hero rock band stuff. I still bought them because there's 50 cents for all of them. The lady and the guy there was like, I knew somebody would buy those. That somebody would still want video games that old. I'm thinking we got any more. I actually did ask if they had any, but they said no. Um, unfortunately, yeah, just the Guitar Hero stuff. I'm just going to hold on to it. Maybe I'll bundle it with something. I don't know. Here's a Racco card game. Now, I bought this in the past. I've sold these on Amazon for about $50 pre-owned, but that's the Racco Anniversary Edition. They share the same UPC, so if you're buying these to sell yourself on Amazon, be aware that if you scan it with the UPC, there's two different ones. Don't send in this one because people may get angry. It's It should be a green box. I believe it even says anniversary edition on it. Still, I uh, should make about 15 bucks. I only paid a quarter selling it on Amazon under a different listing. Take a look here. We got this golden tea. I uh, found one of these not long ago. Well, it's been about a year. I found them new at Goodwill. I sold it for, I think it was $190 on Amazon. So I knew at $2 I could sell this pre-owned. I think for about 50 or $60 was when I checked it. So I went ahead and grabbed that Golden Tee Golf Game plug and play there. Then I picked up this. I bought all this stuff here blind. Uh, it was just so cheap. I didn't want to take time to look it up at the sale. Some sort of 70s video game like system you plug into your TV. Unfortunately, not worth really anything. There's some on eBay complete in box and they're priced $60. There's no comps that I could find. So I don't even know if I'll list those, but for 25 cents, I picked up this Panasonic cassette pack. This converts your eight track player into a cassette player. You'd think that this stuff wouldn't be worth much and it really isn't, but uh, I just see a, a comp on Terapeak where one sold for 30 uh, and there's one currently listed for like 30 or 40. So, you know, for a quarter, I'll go ahead and list it. Somebody will buy it eventually who's an enthusiast. And for a dollar, I picked up this ranging range finder. It's in very good condition. Looked it up. You know, there was a comp for like 20 bucks. Again, nothing special. It's just the price was so low on this stuff. Then we got a couple of these sealed eight track blank cassettes. Uh, yeah, there's, I think they're worth about $10 a piece. So I'll bundle the two together. Maybe price it like $18. Free shipping. There's some quick money there. Got a couple Halloween masks. I believe these are 25 cents. They're either 25 cents or 50 cents. Here is uh, the one from Saul. I went ahead and grabbed that. It actually looks like it will sell definitely around Halloween. There's some comps. $20, $25. This sold for. And then we got another one over here. Uh, nothing special. It's just kind of cool. Uh, same price. 25 cents, 50 cents, whatever it was. I got a few other Halloween masks. You know, I can just do a lot. Sell them off for 25 bucks and only paying a quarter. You're making great profit on them. Got this vintage Adidas windbreaker. It's in great condition. It's not a great one. There might be $15 profit in it. Uh, but I also got this Nintendo 64 hoodie. This is not a vintage one, but it was in good condition. It was $3. I looked it up. It actually sells pretty decent. I think one even sold for $40 pre-owned and some others between $20 and $25. So, you know, between these two clothing items, there's some profit there. Okay, let's move over here. It's just starting to floor. I got this Squeezo strainer. I found these and sold them before. This is a great brand. 
It was $10. It's looks like it's never been used. It's complete. This is the same sale where I got the, the rocking horse. And I, I should be able to sell this for you know, anywhere between $80 and $100 plus shipping. Again, I've sold it before. They do move. Actually, I think the one last one I sold, sold insanely quick. Also, I could probably get more money because I believe there's none currently listed. There was just six comps for people are wanting these. So I should be able to price it $100, no problem. Picked this up for $5. It's brand new in box. It's just a, an old faucet. You know, I'm going to be able to price that about 50 bucks plus shipping. It's going to move eventually. Oh my, so much good stuff. Back up here. I just got the sealed Transformers, the sealed G.I. Joe. I think I paid, what, $7 for that one. $5 a piece for these two. They are not anything too special, but there's still going to be some profit in them. Below it, I got this Revere Wear Roaster. It looks like I could probably sell this for about $40. Bucks. I paid $5 for it. It's super clean in there. For $2, I grabbed this bag of mystery watches. I looked through it. doesn't look like there's anything very special, but I could do an auction on this and probably get about $20, bucks, I would imagine, at least. So... I went ahead and grabbed that. Take a look at this Fisher Price record player from 78. Some of these actually sell pretty good. I should have just sell it for at least 30 plus shipping. The woman told me it should work. She didn't even know if it had ever been used. You make a lot more money though if they have some of the plastic records that go with them. For $10, you see I got one of these classic Magnavox DVD VCR combos I sell on Amazon for about one thirty ish right now. It says it works fine on the sticker, so be good profit on that selling on Amazon. Then finally, I got some good hats here. Here's a Cobra hat, which I paid $5 for. You know, I can probably sell this for $20, $25. It's looking like. And I grabbed these for $50. 50 cents just because they were vintage. I couldn't find any comps on them. I didn't expect to really. It looks kind of cool. I would almost wear this myself, I think. <laughs> Get that hipster vintage look. I got a couple of them there. They're brand new. Um, I might be able to get 15, 20 bucks a piece for them. Yellow Trucking Company Visor. I don't even know what this would sell for. Maybe 15, 20 as well. But here is a gym. An absolutely amazing find. This is a pro line. Logo Athletics hat. I just sold a San Francisco 49ers one uh, for $190. And I got that in about an hour after listing it. This one, however, it has some dirt. It needs cleaned. I don't know if I'm going to clean it or just mark the price down. I saw that new with tags, one of these sold for $250. Pre-owned about $150 on this one. Miami Dolphin stuff I'm always finding. I don't know why you find so much Miami Dolphin stuff in Ohio, but it seems like that's always... <laughs> The hats that I find. I only paid 50 cents for these hats. Here's another one I got out of the box. This is the house I drove up on. I didn't even know there was a sale. She just had some stuff in her yard. I was digging through her boxes. This is just like a Reebok one. I just went ahead and grabbed it. It's not worth a whole lot. This one, however, I really don't know what it's worth. I think a lot. The tag says Rocking Horse. I looked up some other Rocking Horse hats with like the plushes on them from the 80s. And there was like uh, some selling for over 100 bucks. So I think this one's going to be pretty good. I didn't, like I said, I didn't see any comps for that one. But I'm going to price it minimum 50. I'll probably try $100 honestly first just in case. Because again, some of these vintage sports hats, it's just crazy what they sell for. There it is, everybody. That's the haul for today. I went through it as quick as I could. It's probably going to be a very long video but you see how much profit i'm expected to make on this very awesome before you go hit that like button for me you can find me on twitter instagram tiktok flipping underscore junk and this has been wick till next time